<laughs> okay, so ready? Are you laughing at me? Why are you no, I think what? it's really nice. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's... Nice. <laughs> Okay. It's really nice. Okay, go, go, go. <laughs> go. Try it again. Go through it again. Hi. <laughs> Wait. Is it, were you not expecting something nice from me? <laughs> no. I... Trap. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, go ahead. Get out of here. Okay. Yo, what's good? Randall here. And Bianca. And we're engaged. I hope that didn't break your ears. It broke mine. <laughs> Proceed. I'm sorry. I didn't expect that from you. Um, we got some questions from you guys, so let's go and answer these right now. Before. Oh, I was waiting for this one. Advice for long distance relationships. <laughs> what? It's like we've never done that before. Shocker. <laughs> so Randall said that we have been dating for a long time. We did. We dated for about three and a half years. Oh no, it's definitely two and a half. Sorry. Am I? Yeah. <laughs> I've been telling people three and a half. That's awkward. I mean, that gives us more two clout than we deserve. Yeah. yeah, sorry. Two and a half years. We've dated for two and a half years before we were engaged. But it's been three and a half years before we get married, correct? Yes. Yeah. Yes, that's where the three and a half came. So we dated for two and a half years, long distance. It actually wasn't until after we were engaged that we were in the same city. So we have a lot of... Um, uh, expertise or advice you could say in terms of like long distance um, the biggest thing for long distance is communication always communicate with the other you have to prioritize time together and know that it's gonna require some sacrifices also don't play the comparison game you cannot compare your relationship to your friends relationship where they see each other every single day or even compare your long distance relationship to somebody else's long distance relationship. It's gonna look different. I know for Randall and I, like praying once a week together was very important to us. Talking to each other, at least having FaceTimes. FaceTimes, oh my gosh, lifesavers right there. Um, always keep it rooted in Christ, pray for one another, sacrifice. I know we did a lot of fasting for the other and um, we went to daily mass. So it was beautiful just to say, hey, I might not see you in person, but I'll see you in the Eucharist. Um, but yeah. Biggest thing I can say is communication, and it can work. Okay, a lot of people think long distance relationships can't work. Hi, hello, it can. Um, what do you th What do you think? Um, yeah, I would say advice for long distance relationships. One, um, it's okay that it's hard. Okay, like mm. please, mm. please don't like. Cause I, I I feel like when like when I ask advice for something. I'm like secretly hoping they're gonna give me a piece of advice that's automatically gonna make my situation so much easier. Mm, true. I think asking the question of some advice for long distance relationships, we should automatically assume and just accept the fact that it's gonna be difficult, mm -hmm. no matter what. I mean, mm -hmm. not long, what's the opposite of not long distance? Normal relationships are always, are still difficult. Mm -hmm. But long distance is gonna make it more difficult. That's just gonna be a reality we have to accept. Mm -hmm. So that'd be my first tip. Second tip, persevere, dude. Mm -hmm. Like Bianca said, communicate, man. Mm -hmm. Communicate, and I'm not just talking about like, like get on the phone and talk to each other or FaceTime. I'm talking about like, communicate if you feel neglected, mm -hmm. communicate if you feel distant, mm -hmm. communicate if you feel jealous, mm -hmm. communicate if you feel worried, yeah. or if you feel like something is not right. I mean, you can communicate other really great stuff. If not but on like, if you feel distant from each other, communicate that. Yeah, I mean, seriously, if you communicate mm -hmm. if you feel like you guys aren't getting closer or mm -hmm. if something's missing, anything like that, like communication, communication, Communication. Yeah. It's cliche, but it's cliche for a reason, mm -hmm. okay? It's cliche because it's true. Uh, that's not true for all cliches. It's cliche because mm, it's used a lot. It's cliche. It's cliche. Next so, question. So that's some advice. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Next question. Next question. Move on. <laughs> there you go. Next question. It's up to, ooh. How can a woman allow the man to lead and defer to him without being a doormat? <sighs> ah, all right, listen, listen, ladies. The truth is, speak to the woman right now. Like the truth is that um, if you let a man lead, you're not going to be a doormat. If he's a decent, good man, if he's not a decent man, then you are going to be treated like a doormat, like without fail. That's with anybody. If anyone is not decent, they're going to treat you like a doormat. So, my advice to that is, how do you let a man lead? without feeling like a doormat would be first to find a man who's good, mm -hmm. a man who respects you and a man who honors you. Because I think 
I think we have to move from the assumption that being led automatically means that I am less mm -hmm. or being led automatically means slavery or being led automatically means um, like some kind of uh, servitude of mm -hmm. some kind that takes away from your dignity. That's not true. Mm -hmm. um, being led, to be honest, I'm, I'm really confident in saying that um, any woman that is really worth her salt is gonna want to be led by a good man. I, that might have sounded really mean, but I'm gonna say it. it's true. I think it's true. Um, that might have been really mean. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, you can cut that. I don't know, we can cut um, that, who knows. So <laughs> I would say, like, what was the question again? Sorry. How, how can you allow a man to lead and defer to him without being a doormat? Yeah, so I think something to acknowledge is that when we, as women, like we need to first recognize that we, we were created strong, like God gave us, I don't know what God gave, God gave us. So, God gave us the feminine genius. So we can do a lot of things on our own. We could lead, by all means. I could lead if I want to. Um, but it's a beautiful gift to allow ourselves to receive a man's leadership and to let him lead. Now, allowing a man to lead does not take away from our femininity. And like Randall said, does not take away from our worth. Actually, it complements each other. Like a man's leadership should complement your femininity, your feminine leadership in certain ways. Um, being led does not mean that you become submissive and you're quiet and you don't say anything and you don't speak your mind or you don't do all these things. Like our relationship should, like when we're in a relationship, we shouldn't feel less. Um, God created man and woman, um, yes, like equal in dignity and worth, but in, like also he created us to complement one another. So I think um, allowing a man to serve, I think we have to break some, some ties that we might think which means like, oh, when I'm allowing Randall to serve, that means that I can never share my opinion and I need to be quiet and all that stuff. Um, when that's not the case, like allowing Randall to lead is actually creating a space for him to live up to his masculine genius, which will then in turn allow me to live out my feminine genius even more. It's like actually kind of crazy to think like, oh, wait a minute, by allowing a man to lead, I'm actually like healing aspects of my heart and I'm actually becoming more of the woman that I meant to be what the heck right like look at mary and and christ like mary allowed jesus to lead but we all know that mary was no doormat to any man actually mary is held to the highest esteem in heaven well y'all that's all we have for today thank you so much for sending in your questions don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you and if we <laughs> <laughs> And if we said something that you want to expand on or if we said something that you disagree with, make sure to leave those comments or questions down in the comment section below. Thank you so much and we'll see you. Pray for us. We get married in nine days. What was I about ah! to say? We're getting married. All right, later. Peace. Love you. <laughs> was there something you wanted to say? I was just going to say see you soon or like see you later. But then I was like, that's... That's basic. <laughs> and then I was like second guessing myself and then Bianca okay. saved me. Peace. Relationships. Saving the others. Just kidding. You don't save me and I don't save you. Jesus Christ saved me already. That's how we handle relationships. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. That's how. You don't come.